introduction and overview to Helium 10's Atomic advertising software. Now, I have actually personally been using Atomic uh, as an Amazon seller since it first came out, even before it was called Atomic, it used to be called Ads. I used to be scared of Amazon PPC, maybe like some of you are right now. And in my old Amazon businesses, I was like, man, you know what? I, I just want somebody else at the company to, to do this. I don't want to have to deal with this. I'm good with keyword research and launch and things like that. Now, when ads or Atomic first came out, for the first time, I was able to actually understand what was going on without having to download all these spreadsheets from Amazon and without having to you know, run pivot tables and things like that, all right? So let me just give you guys a broad overview of Atomic so you're gonna know where you'd want to start if you so desire to. Now, when you first sign into Atomic, you're gonna see a dashboard. Uh, now, if you already had your uh, token connected, make sure to connect your token to Helium 10 if you haven't done so already. Whatever software you guys are using, you're not gonna be able to use it, guys, unless you connect your regular token and your advertising PPC token. And if you already have been doing uh, Amazon advertising, you're gonna see a lot of data up here, uh, including some data points that maybe you won't see very uh, clearly in Amazon, such as tacos, right? Here towards the bottom, I'm gonna see even something detailed like hour of day. I can actually see campaign performance by hour of day. Uh, I can see some of my highest ACoS campaigns, my highest spend targets, etc. cetera. Now, now, one of the key parts of what, how Atomic can save me hours and hours per week, uh, by the way, guys, I can actually run all 200 of my campaigns in about 20 minutes a week. That's how fast this does. But the reason is, is because of this suggestions page. So if I click into that, uh, I have a whole bunch of bid suggestions. We're gonna dive deep into how these suggestions come, up, come about. Now, again, this is something that whether you use Atomic or not, you have to be doing. You have to be monitoring uh, your ACoS if that's one of your goals. You have to be monitoring different data points and where you're wasting spend uh, so that you can take action. And so we're going to go deep into how right here I've got 120 bid suggestions and how with just a couple clicks of the button, I can actually implement these across 30, 40, 50 or even more campaigns so that I don't have to one by one uh, be editing campaigns and editing budgets and negative matching uh, keywords, etc. Now, the next part of Atomic is the analytics page, and this is just gold. I'm going to do a strategy uh, coming up where in just a few minutes, something like this for somebody new, this is like the first thing that you guys should be doing. Make sure to check out the strategy where I talk about the first thing that you should do when you connect your uh, existing campaigns, but I'm going to show you how to audit your PPC account where you're instantly going to see hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of wasted spend that you can immediately take action to thanks to this analytics page. Uh, this analytics allows you to look at your campaign level, your ad group level, target, all the way down to the search term level of all of your campaigns. Next thing you see here is the ad manager. So if you have never done Amazon advertising, you're not going to see anything here. But if you're connecting Atomic for the first time, all of your existing campaigns are going to be showing up here, uh, whether you had made them in Atomic or not, and you're going to be able to see some high level information on it. Next up, we've got the rules and automation. So this is for like advanced users. Uh, a, a lot of you maybe have your own rules that you have been doing on your own Amazon advertising accounts, right? Like you download the search term reports and then you run some pivot tables or V lookups and say, hey, if I have uh, search terms that have uh, more than 20 clicks and no sales. Let me, let me see which ones those are. And then, and then you take action on that, right? Everybody's got their own rules. Whatever your rules are, you're gonna be able to program them right here into Atomic on this rules and automations page. And for example, I've got a whole bunch of bid rules here, right? Like th this this might seem over some of your head, but don't worry, uh, we're gonna teach you how to do these. And, and I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds, we have a tool that allows you just to do a couple of clicks of a button and have everything be taken care of. But I know there's some data geeks out there like I am. And so let me just show you how cool this is. Like this is one of my rules where I say, hey, uh, if a cost is greater than 50% uh, or it's less than or equal to 60%, I wanna go ahead and take whatever I've been paying, uh, my co my cost per click, and I wanna uh, multiply that by whatever my target ACoS is. Like, let's say my target ACoS is 20, and divide it by the ACoS I was paying. In other words, give me, uh, make me lower my bid so that I can get closer to what I want my target ACoS to be, all right? How would you have done that if you're downloading search term reports? Uh, you, you probably not only have to do V lookups and pivot tables, to even get to that data, but then you have to do some advanced formula 
every single time that you're trying to you know hit a certain goal you don't have to do that with atomic you set this all up once and now from now on into the future helium 10 is going to go find where this exact situation is happening and we'll let you know what you have to raise or lower your bid to to get to your goal one of the last main sections of Adtomic, and this is probably one of the best for some of you guys, is AI advertising. It's the newest thing that we have. If you are new to advertising and advertising is something that's overwhelming to you, this is something that I'm gonna show you a strategy on where in seconds, maximum maybe one minute, you are gonna be able to set up multiple campaigns uh, that are going to be geared towards whatever goal that you are trying to reach. And guess what? After that, you're not even going to have to make rules like I was showing you before. You're not going to have to go to the analytics page and try and find certain scenarios of where your A cost is high, where your A cost is low. You don't have to harvest keywords. Helium 10's AI advertising is going to do it all for you. So that is in this tool called AI advertising, where all you're going to do is set your budget, set your goal. Maybe you can add a few keywords here or there, but I'm going to show you how to use this where People who are completely intimidated by PPC can no longer have to be uh, worried or scared of it because we're going to take all that heavy uh, lifting for you. Even some you know, advanced users might want to go ahead and switch uh, to this form of advertising if they're like fed up with having to work so much in advertising. So make sure to check out that strategy.